Hey everybody, Dr. Kevin again here. Welcome to day 13 of our 30 days of spine rehab series. We're over the course of 30 days, I hope to show you how to create a full body, comprehensive spine rehabilitation program from complete scratch, and what I believe are the safest, simplest, and most effective ways possible. So the uh, past uh, couple of days, day 11 and day 12, we started to introduce our core exercise series, uh, and we went over the exercises, the bird dog, and also the dead bug, and those are real good exercises just to help you start to learn how to properly activate your core while also learning how to protect your spine from any harmful or any unnecessary stress. So uh, day 13, we're going to get into another one of my personal favorites uh, known as the glute bridge. Now, we did a little bit of bridging, I believe, in uh, module number seven, um, but I think that this is such an important exercise that it deserves its own uh, module because I really want to show you some more of the uh, finer points and finer details of this exercise just to make sure you're getting the most value from it as possible. Um, the glute bridge is just one of uh, my absolute favorites and also uh, the favorites of a lot of uh, my patients as well. Um, it really helps them a ton because it's really easy to do, um, doesn't really require much setup. And again, it really helps reverse a lot of the problems that we see with modern society, with people just spending so much time sitting, their hips getting really weak, their backs getting really stiff, um, their hip and flexors getting really tight. But this is just a good all-in-one exercise to help you start to learn how to reverse the effect of all of those problems and just really help your back and just really help your body just feel much better and just uh, help just reconnect a lot of the um, uh, problems that a lot of people seem to have within their back or within their core and within their hips. So um, I'm going to show you a couple of different variations of the glute bridge um, just to give you, uh, you know, a couple of different ideas for you to start with and then uh, just try to follow along and, and and make sure that we are learning how to do the exercise with the proper form, proper technique to really maximize the effectiveness that we get from the exercise. So let's get right into the uh, phase one demonstration of the glute bridge. So first thing, similar to the dead bug, we want to make sure that you're starting with a bit of a, a flattened back. So just flatten your spine into the bench here. Okay. We want to make sure as you're lifting that you're not just overarching your back and using all these back extension muscles because that could actually uh, cause more tightness and more problems in your back if you're not paying attention. So making sure that you're contracting your abdominal muscles here to flatten your back will ensure that you're not going to overuse those back muscles and it will set you up to really use your glute muscles here to do the most of the lifting, okay? So you can see the difference between the glute bridge where my hips are coming off the ground like so instead of a back bridge where my back is just arching up in the air. When I do this, I feel a lot of tension, I feel a lot of stress, I feel a lot of tightening in my back, but when I do it like so, with a tight core and lifting from my glutes, I feel a lot of contraction engagement in my glutes, I feel a lot of tension in my core, but I feel nothing occurring in my back whatsoever. Okay, so let's go back down, let's demonstrate that a couple more times, okay? So step one, flashing your back into the flat, into the floor, make sure your back isn't arching. Two, try to dig through your heels and try to lift your hips as high as you can towards the ceiling without letting your back arch, okay? Now, at the top, try to squeeze the glutes as tight as you can. Try to inch those hips as, as, as high towards the ceiling as you can, just making sure your back isn't arching. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and come back down. Now, this can be a bit of an intense muscle contraction. Um, if this is the first time you've done this exercise in quite some time, just slowly ramp up to it. Sometimes people feel, they'll feel a little bit of cramping, a little bit almost like a charley horse in their hamstring or in their glute. And again, um, that's fine, especially if this is the first time you've tried this. That's just a sign that those muscles are just waking up, waking up for the first time. They're working against a lot of tightness probably in your quads and your hip flexors. And again, just if, if that's the case where you're just feeling a lot of cramping, just dial it back a little bit, but just making sure that you are keeping your core tight and make sure that you are not letting your back extend. So let's just practice it a couple more times. So let's flatten the spine, squeeze and lift my glutes, and hold them at the top for five, four, three, two, one, and come back down. Let's just demonstrate that one more time. So let's flatten my spine, 
Just lift my glutes, squeeze and hold. Five, four, three, two, one, and come back down. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. So that's it for the uh, glute bridge uh, basics uh, level one. And I'm just going to show you uh, one more variation um, based off of the glute bridge. But again, um, this glute bridge, it doesn't seem like much, um, but in the beginning, but if you practice it how I'm suggesting, if you really start try to keep your back straight, if you really try to maximally engage those, those glute muscles, um, you'll feel a lot of activation, a lot of stimulation in all of the areas that we want you to. And again, one of the most potent and most effective ways of uh, strengthening your back, strengthening your core, uh, while making sure that it's completely safe um, and in terms of creating unnecessary stress on your back. So let's get right into uh, the level two. Okay, so let's get into the level two variation of the bridge. Um, I would say that this level two version is a little more advanced, um, but again, I, I wanted to at least introduce it in the event that you wanted to give it a shot. Um, but I think that there's so much value that you could extract but just by practicing the level, the level one variant over and over again. Um, but again, just wanted to give you a, an option in the event that you just uh, wanted to uh, try it out, okay? So the level two variant is gonna, we're gonna start with a, a glute bridge. So we're gonna flatten my spine, tighten up my core, drive through my glutes, and I'm gonna hold to the top. And all I wanna do for level two is I just want to pick up one leg, like so, just a couple of inches off the ground, and then bring it back down. Let's do the other leg, and then bring it back down, nice and slow. Okay, now this can be quite difficult um, because of the, the couple of things that I want you to focus on when you're doing this. All right, so make sure as you're going into the bridge that as you lift a leg, you want to make sure your pelvis and your hips stay level. So a lot of people when they're trying this level two, when they lift their leg, they'll start to notice their hips are dropping and they're just unable to try to maintain the height of their hips. So what I want you to do is to try to maintain the height of your hips while again, make sure your back isn't arching and those glutes are staying nice and tight. So just like so, here, bring it back down nice and slow. And let's try the other leg. So just lift my hip up in the air, keeping my hips up, make sure my hips aren't dropping, and then bring it back down nice and slow, and then bring it back down. All right, let's just show a couple more times. Let's flatten the back, lift those glutes up, squeeze nice and tight. Let's lift the right leg first, trying to keep my hips level. Back down, left leg, nice and slow, nice and controlled. Bring it back down. What this variation does is it just calls into action so much more um, activation of my core, of my obliques, of my sides, of my glute. It doesn't seem like much, but again, if you try to do it while maintaining uh, equal hips and just trying to limit the amount of movement occurring through your body, you really feel it's, it's actually quite challenging to do. Let's just show level two variation one more time. So, flattening the back, lifting my hips, Holding at the top, left leg up, three, two, one, nice and slow, back down, right leg up, three, two, one, back down, and then bringing the legs both back down. So that's it for uh, the glute bridge series. Um, again, uh, I would say the level two variation is quite a bit of a step up in terms of difficulty. But definitely, um, if you want to give it a shot, then, then by all means. But uh, I believe that uh, just practicing the glute bridge, um, how we instructed it in, in, um, in the first uh, video for today, is a very, very effective exercise that helps, again, you build strength in your core, help you rebalance a lot of these imbalances that develop in your back uh, from sitting. And um, again, one of, the one of the favorites of a lot of my patients who are also uh, recovering and rehabbing from their own back injury. So um, that's it for day 13. I uh, hope you enjoyed and um, excited to see you again for day 14 for the next uh, core exercise. So 
Um, take care. Have a wonderful day. And we hope to see you again next time. Take care.